Good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's ITHBL lesson. We're going to start off the day with a quick recap of what we learned previously and a review of some of the photos that you have taken. Okay, now everyone listen, I won't be able to recap the DSLR camera handling and the focusing for it because I don't think it's relevant for today's use. Most of us do not have a DSLR camera at home. So it would be meaningless if I were to review that. So we'll do that when we come back to class the next time. Okay, but I'm going to recap just the basic important photo skills and we're going to review just a few of your pictures. Please note, I didn't add in your names because I want to ensure that you remain anonymous to protect your identity. Okay, so let's learn. All right, so everyone for taking good photos last week, I mentioned three tips. Firstly, is to hold your camera straight. If you hold your camera straight, you can ensure that your pictures will look straight and you won't have to tilt your head to see it properly. Okay? Next thing, make sure your camera is focusing on one photo subject. All right? And finally, when you take your photo, always watch your background. If there happens to be something distracting in it or messy, that will spoil the photo. Okay? So do be careful of this. Now, with these three tips, let's take a look at the photos that you've taken last week and let's see if we have hit the important point. So everyone, last week, we took pictures in the lab, okay? And there were seven common things that we took. The first one is the water bottle. So let's take a look at two pictures. Okay, in this picture, you can see that the photo is very clear. We can tell that the photo subject is the bottle in the middle. But if you draw lines across the top and bottom of the bottle, you notice that it's really not straight. You have to turn your head to in order to see it, okay? And that could be a bit frustrating. All right, so that needs to be improved on. And also, if you look at the background, okay, the things in the background are messy and they are visible, okay? This could be because the background is too close to the bottle, okay? There's not enough of a blur to blur out the messiness, okay? So everyone, if this happens, please be extra careful. You might want to move the bottle somewhere else that has a cleaner background or further away from other messy things to take your shot, okay? Okay, this second photo is a lot better. You can see that the photo subject bottle is very clearly focused on and it is straight, okay? And the background is a lot cleaner. It's not distracting, all right? Now, let's move on to the second object that was commonly taken, Lego. We're going to look at two pictures again. In this picture, you can see that the shot is really very interesting, okay? We have a Lego that's nice and clearly focused on. It is also straight. If you look at the wheels of the bicycle, if I draw it across the entire scene, it is very straight. And the background, there's a lot of colours in the background, but at least the background is far away. So it has been blurred out by the camera nicely, such that it's not the focus point. All right, so everyone, this is a good shot. Keep it up. Okay, now for this one, this picture has a very clean background. Okay? So you should be able to pay very close attention to the photo subject, which is the Lego. Unfortunately, okay, even though the picture is straight as well, the Lego itself is not being focused on. Okay, for this photo, I can guess one big reason. Okay, when you are taking the photo, because this Lego has been held by someone, the person might have accidentally moved his or her hand. Okay, so because of this movement, it has caused the focus to be blurred. All right, so everyone be careful when you photograph things. Make sure they are still, okay? If you want to photograph moving objects, we cannot use the auto mode. You'll have to change mode for that. And I'll teach you in a different lesson, all right? Okay, moving on to the third thing, devices. Okay, a lot of you took pictures of the computer. Now, I really like this picture because it's very interesting. It shows the entire lab with all the different computer devices, okay? So, I would say that the background is very clean because it's relevant, okay? And it's very straight as well. Nothing really distracting stands out. But the unfortunate thing is this photo cannot be saved because it is just not focused. It's not clear. Okay, so everyone, I think this happened because the entire camera lens, the glass part of the lens is blurry. Okay, maybe there were fingerprints on it or it was oily. So that caused the blur, no focus. Okay, so everyone, please be careful. Do not touch the glass lens of your camera. Keep it clean all the time. Hold the side if you need to, okay? All right, this picture is an interesting shot of the computer mouse from a different angle. It is straight, okay? The background is blurred out, okay? So not so much of a distraction. 
but the picture is not focused, so cannot save also. Now everyone, this reason why it's not focused is because the mouse is too close to the camera lens. If your object is too close to the lens, the camera won't be able to focus on it properly. Okay, you need to have a bit of distance away, all right, for the camera to focus on it. One trick is to stand a bit further away, but use the zoom on your lens to zoom in to snap a clearer picture. Okay, so be careful of that. Okay, next one, sanitizer, also another commonly taken object. Okay, this is a really interesting shot that I like. Okay, it made use of good arranging of the photo subject. It is focused, it is straight, and the background has been blurred out nicely. There's some distance away. So this is a really good shot. Okay, this shot works as well. Okay, it does have a lot of things inside, but everyone, if you pay close attention, the things of importance are all within the same area. Okay, so that's fine. It is focused, it is straight, and the background is clean or related to what is being taken. Okay, so everyone, this works as well. Everything is sharp and okay. All right. Now, the next thing is the plant. Okay, this picture has a very clear, it's a close up of the plant, so it went a bit closer. The photographer went closer. It is focused, it is straight, and the background is quite clean, so I'm okay with it. But everyone, please be careful. Okay, if your intention is not to do a close up, but to capture just the plant as a whole, be careful not to chop off or cut off parts of it. It could be very wasteful, all right? So everyone, if you want to take a half shot or some parts of the plant, okay, most of the plant, make sure you capture the full plant body. Don't cut off parts of it. Same for things that you photograph, people, humans, objects, okay? All right, this shot is a focus shot of the flower, okay, the fake flower that we took. It is straight, but this one has a bit of a messy background. I think maybe because the background has been blurred out, but I think maybe because from the angle that the photo is taken, okay, it has captured a lot of the messy lines and shapes and all in the background that could be a bit distracting. Okay, so just be careful of that. Sometimes blurred backgrounds may work, sometimes not really. Okay. All right, six one people. Okay, this is a nice clear shot of someone. I've chosen pictures that do not show your face to protect your identity, okay? So it's focused, it is straight, the background is blurred and it's not really distracting, okay? So that's a good shot. This one is also a clear shot of someone. This photographer actually took a picture of his friend, okay, from a low angle. His camera is lower than this photo subject, okay? It's focused, it's straight. Unfortunately, the background is very close to his photo subject, this boy here. It is a bit messy, okay? It's not blurred out completely. So the different colors in the background and the lines could be a bit distracting. So be careful of that, all right? Give some distance away from your subject. Finally, some interesting short others. Okay, in the lab, some of your friends took really interesting things. So I really like this picture here. It actually uses one of the composition rules that we will learn in another lesson. Okay, but this picture is focusing on a set of, I think, Lego bricks at the back. Okay, this time round, the photo subject is in the background. Okay, so the things in the background, which is the photo subject, is clear, it's sharp, it's focused, it's straight. And the things in the foreground, I think it should be the side of the door. This is blurred out. So the focus we know is on the background and not the foreground. This is a reverse technique. Okay, but this is a really good shot. Very interesting. Okay, for this one here, this is also a very interesting shot. It's a close-up of one of the door hinges in the lab. Okay, it is focused, it is straight, and the background is, of course, quite clean. Okay, so this works as well. So everyone, that's the end of the recap and review. Thank you for so patiently listening to me. You can move on to the next video to understand what the lesson is for today. Okay, see you then.